referendum has to be one of the craziest referendums in the world because this referendum is not about if abortions are going to happen it's about how abortions are going to happen since since the last 20 30 years since abortion became legal in Spain one call and a trip 20 minutes down the road was all it took for women to have to cross over with their unwanted pregnancies for whatever reason and have to deal with it away from our home. Now the anti-choice side is going to be playing at people's heartstrings with their slogans on saving babies. But it's not true. They are not saving any babies. The choice. <laughs> between whether we have our abortions that we need to have at home with 21st century healthcare or promoting the shame and hypocrisy of having to cross over like a criminal and like an outcast to deal with your unwanted pregnancy. is about protecting women. The choice on the 19th of March is about respecting women. And the choice on the 19th of March is about trusting our women. And the best way to save babies is to legalize abortion legislation, to regulate abortions. And if not, the women are just going to run to Spain and do what they feel is right for them. Now, today I am sure you're going to be hearing great, powerful arguments from all the wonderful speakers who have come from near and far. And you will expect that I will agree with all these arguments that I've been speaking about for the last two years. But my message here today is not about the actual merits. It's about the fact that I'm genuinely worried that despite what I'm sure is a majority of Gibraltarians agreeing with the need for legislative change, that many people are not going to want to be embroiled in the controversy that surrounds the abortion debate, and that they won't want to jeopardize the social bonds that keep us all united in this special community. And that because of that, and because of the worry that they might not vote, we could very well be the first nation in the world to say no to abortion legislation. This referendum should not be happening. We should not have to put a fundamental human right to a public vote. our constitution but the referendum is here and we have to vote and the pro-life side is going to be motivated by their faith and by their doctrines and they are misguided in the reality that those of us who believe in the value of human rights and equality want to murder babies and if you were motivated by that you would also be pushing people to vote in droves so what we need to do is mobilize every single person we know and drag them to vote yes in that referendum. Because unless we get a 70 or 80% turnout, we are in trouble and we might not pass it through. So we have to make people understand what is at stake and that everybody has a stake in this. Your mothers, your aunties, your cousins, your friends, every single person. We need to do it for the hundreds of women who have for the past decades had to scurry across the border to get their abortions like outcasts, like criminals, alone in a private cold clinic coming back without being able to talk about it with anybody. And if that's not enough, we have to do it for those who did it last week and those who will do it next week. We have to trust women, we have to pass the message, we have to get out and vote on the 19th of March for 